Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos, and we are here today with some Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And in today's video, we are going to be going over in depth the new ACAR assault rifle level 80 reward. I mean, in this rifle, it takes forever to grind out to level 80. Especially when you got other games that you play as well as Breakpoint. So it does take a while. And I finally just got there today. And it does not disappoint. I absolutely love this assault rifle. It's always been a good weapon in multiple games. And for real, I was looking at some of the stats. And we'll go over that in a second. That it is most definitely the best versatile assault rifle weapon in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It has the best overall stats. Beaten by none. And we'll go ahead and go into that real quick. Before we get into that, though, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay and the content coming out of the channel. If so, and you guys want to continue to help me grow the channel, slide on down and click that sub button real quick, guys. Don't forget to pop that notification bell so you do not miss out on any future tactical chaos on the grind uploads. And let's get into this so one thing that i think that's really cool and um i love the long suppressor i mean the mark uh, 110 suppressor style i love that style uh we got it on the regular uh mark 17 and it's pretty dope dude and the mark 17 shorty so i was pretty stoked that it was came with the acar but if you guys do not like the long suppressor look you guys can get from the store the prism suppressor or the hive suppressor and that will go ahead and give you the short suppressor look the only drawback on that is you cannot change the colors of those suppressors so that might suck a little bit but um if you're rocking all black it does fit kind of well and at night time you can hardly notice the difference but like i said i like the uh, longer suppressor so we um with the acr we can also choose to put on long barrels short barrel um for the magazine we have a drum mag which i don't really like the drum mag look i think it makes it look really funky and awkward so i will stick with the standard mag um here let's go switch back to my regular suppressor we also got the uh 762 control shield which this makes a gun operate so smoothly if you don't mind going loud but you don't really need to with this weapon. This weapon already runs smoothly on its own. I mean, look at this right here. The handling and everything. Um, so we got the PEQ box. We got the uh, the Mall DA and the uh, 3X laser along with the rangefinder. For scopes, we only have we they're kind of uh, limited on scopes. That's the only drawback of this weapon. We got the Comp M4 sight, digital sight, uh, RU accumulator um are you red dot and the acog scope the ta 31h we could switch it to a uh, single burst or or single shot in auto or burst in auto we also got a, a choice in a few different grips we got the bipod grip the lightweight vertical the RU vertical grip the uh, regular vertical grip um shift angled shift vertical foregrip and the tactical foregrip we got the regular grenade launcher and the under barrel shotgun for it now those are all the attachments that we got for our weapon let's go over the stats so check this out let's go compare it to other assault rifles we're going to go ahead and go over here you go to type assault rifles let's compare the stats so you can see right here we got great accuracy handling range mobility recoil we're at 32 damage, 750 rounds per minute, and 762. So let's check this shit out. The 4AC has better accuracy and better range, but less damage, less handling, less range, and less mobility. But, uh, it does have a higher rate of fire. The HK416 has a better accuracy and better range, uh, but it has less handling, less mobility, less recoil or uh, less stats on the recoil uh, less weapon damage it has less rounds per minute so yeah the uh, 
ACIR is definitely taking the cake on that. The 416 Special's got better accuracy, better range, but less on everything else. Um, the 416 Shorty got better accuracy, better recoil, less range, less damage, less rounds per minute. The 516 Shorty, you guys can see for yourself, just don't handle, it's got better handling, mobility, and recoil, but it's got less range and less accuracy, less damage. The 553 is almost up there with it. So it has better range, but it has less mobility. It's got less damage and less rounds per minute. Um, the 805 Bryn has, ain't got shit on it, dude. <laughs> lower accuracy, lower range, lower mobility, and lower damage. Uh, the A2 has uh, nothing. I'm not going to even read the stats on that. That gun's trash. Um, the ACAR, which is one of my favorite weapons, and we've all been waiting for it, is a really great weapon. Really, the ACR runs very well in this game. So the fact that the ACAR beats it is saying something. Uh, so the ACR has less accuracy and less handling. Um, it's got better range, mobility, and recoil, but it's got less weapon damage and less rounds per minute. The AK-12, not even coming close. Not going to read that shit. The AK-47 is just trash. The AK-74 Assault, I love this weapon, but it is fucking garbage. It has a hella high damage rate, but everything else on it sucks ass. Um, AK-47 Shorty, straight trash compared to the ACAR, but it is a fun weapon to run with. The AK-74, look at the range on that sucker, bro. That motherfucker's got great range, like a marksman rifle. But it's got trash on everything else. AK-74 AK Assault, trash. AK-47 Solid Survival, obviously trash. The ARX-200 is one of the best weapons in the game, and it's a very underrated weapon. This weapon is beast, bro, and the fact that ACR beats it in versatility, too. Um, this does have better accuracy, better range, and a higher weapon damage than the ACAR, but this is on Mark three, and my ACR is still at Mark two, so the damage might go up to 35 on my ACR. Is it way... This... Um, the ACR still beats it in versatile. Uh, it's almost tied though. Uh, the AUG is an awesome weapon. Um, and it's got good uh, range and good recoil. But everything else on this gun doesn't compare to the ACAR. Neither does the AUG Assault or the FAL. That shit it just doesn't do nothing. The G2 sucks ass. The G36C is a fucking... Uh, tactical fucking god of a weapon, dude. This weapon is in like every kind of tactical shooter you could think of. It is just an awesome weapon. Uh, it's got great recoil control, great accuracy and mobility, but the handling and range and weapon damage is down below the ACAR. The K1A is a great weapon, and look at how close it comes to the ACAR. So we got accuracy, handling, range, and recoil beat the ACAR. Mobility is a little bit less, and weapon uh, weapon damage is a little bit less, and it's got more rounds per minute. The K1A is definitely standing tall with the ACAR. The L85C, dude. Okay, that thing is garbage. M4A1, I love you, but it doesn't compare to the ACAR. M4A1 Assault, not even close. Not even close. M4A1 Tactical, not even close. M4A1 Survival, not even close. The MDR, damn, look at that recoil and range, but not even close. The Scar, uh, that's not even worth reading. Scar Assault, not even worth reading. Mark 17 Shorty, I absolutely love this weapon. One of my favorite guns, but not even close. Now, the Mark 18 is a fun weapon to run, but the accuracy is less, the range is less, and it's got less weapon damage. Higher rate of fire, better mobility, better recoil, and better handling, though. And it's my favorite mil-sim weapon to run operations with. I just love that weapon. The SC-20K sucks ass. The Silver Stake sucks ass. Sucks ass. SR-3M is pretty good, but it still just doesn't compare. Neither does the SR-3M Tactical. The Tiver sucks. Tavern Assault sucks, and we are on with Marksman weapons now. So, that was all the Assault Rifles that I have acquired in the game so far, and still, in my opinion, the ACR definitely takes it. It also sounds cool as shit and looks awesome, which I think are also uh, things I look at when I'm using a weapon. 
I do very much like the looks, and this is a, you know, more realistic type shooter. One shot to the head will drop him, so it doesn't really matter how high the damage is, unless you're trying to take out behemoth drones and shit, but as far as just for, uh, you know, some regular milsim gameplay, basically any assault weapon will do you right, but if you want something to... Whoa, help suppress areas like that and pop off real quick. You're going to want a weapon with great handling. Because sometimes suppressing weapon, suppressing areas as you push up is the only way to get there. Which is one reason why I rock my crosshairs every once in a while when I'm just trying to have fun. Because it allows me to push up. Oh, look at the accuracy on that baby. Oh, shit. Shit got thick there for a second, guys. But, dude, look at that. Three aim from a distance, and I dropped that pool on single shot. Oh, a headshot. Bro, that's why... You can do tax pinning dogs. Everything, dude. Uh, this weapon works really well for... Uh, whole versatile of play styles anyway that'll be it for this video i just wanted to show you guys the weapon i'm super excited about getting it the acar is definitely the king of assault rifles and ghost recon breakpoint at least in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section down below if you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button also i hope you guys decide to subscribe and i will see you on the next one